Hi everyone, we are going to make a desktop application that displays the world's coronavirus data. You can subscribe to YouTube channel for more programming projects. I will use the TechInter library when creating a desktop application. I am creating an empty window using the TechInter function. Thanks to the function, I can make the window appear on the screen. Let's set the size and title of the window. We change the title and dimensions of the desktop window. I will use the request library to fetch the data from the internet. I set India as the country. I need to access the website with the get function. I can use data from this website. I am copying the link. I will use the link I copied in the get function. I use the beautiful soup library to make the HTML settings. I am setting the content using the library. I can access all classes with the find all function. I am specifying a font. I will use the font type throughout the application. I can access all classes using the for loop. First, I create a label object. By accessing the first member of the bill list, I can reach all the coronavirus cases in the world. This number is actually taken from the website I showed you at the beginning. I can show the coronavirus dead count in the window by creating similar objects.
Finally, let's show the number of the people who have recovered. Now instead of seeing cases all over the world, let's see the values in a particular country. I will create an entry object for this. In the entry object, the user will enter name of the country they want. After clicking the button, let's show the country information on the screen. First, I need a button. The button was created, but we didn't define a text function. Let's define a task function. I am creating a function with the specified name. The function will be called each time the button is clicked. Let's make a simple example to test it. When the button is clicked, I want the text entered by the user to the entry object to be displayed on the console screen. The function is working. Let's enter a different country name. I want the information to be placed on the desktop screen after the country names are entered by the user. To do this, we will use the request library. When the country name is written after country, the information is displayed on the website. Using this, we can get the values of the particular country. I will repeat what I did in the previous section. I will recreate the soup and info variables. I am accessing the classes on the website with a for loop. I am recreating the label objects.
When the counter name is entered by the user, coronavirus case information is displayed on the screen. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel for more projects.